Welcome back, everybody. This is Kat, and I have upgraded the StreamYards to the one, the pay one, and I'm kind of liking, there's a few features on there. The reason I did it was to have the ability to record and not just use the live stream, um, you know, to record and then post it later without the side chat. It just kind of looked a little bit odd. So I'm trying this and I kind of like it. I don't know if there's any difference or not, but you do save uh, if you want to pay by the year. So, you know, I want to do this video tonight on the, the Christopher Watts case. And it's something that I have been thinking about for a while, ever since I saw the text messages or, or the just the screenshots of Critical K. Critical K is another YouTube provider, content creator, who is closely working with Sherilyn Cadel, the author of the, the book Letters from Christopher. And she's had like the exclusive to talk to her, uh, at least here on YouTube. And I know that, you know, when before I watched her, I had just saw some of the things she said, and it just seems like she's completely, you know, we're all, we all have the right to change our views on things. Um, to me, and this is just how it looks from me watching without a dog in the fight, no hatred there towards anything. I will still watch her. It's no hate or anything, but it seems like she didn't get where she wanted to go with the Watts family. So she went from being completely supportive of them to now it seems like she's got a big, huge chip on her shoulder regarding them. And it really came out tonight in her broadcast. Now, I haven't watched the whole thing because it's quite long, but she had um, uh, Cheryl and Kate on and they were discussing the book. And I'm glad this came up because it's something that I would, had been talking about and I had been wondering about because I saw the screenshots where Critical K, we'll call her K, has shared the PDF of Letters from Christopher with, it must have been her Patreon members or a group of people that she was close with, something like that. Nothing like on a live broadcast, but she shared it. And the way that she shared it was just so flippant too. It wasn't like something like, hey guys, I know I shouldn't do this, but you know, I'm going to share it with you guys because you can't get a copy of it. It was like, come here, come all. And it was just so no regard towards the author at all, at all. And it seems to me that she's got Cheryl and Cadel quite snowed right now into thinking that it was just some, you know, innocent thing. And Cheryl and Cadel has mentioned tonight, she wanted to talk about the side chat because during their discussion tonight, the side chat was kind of, um, you know, blasting her and saying, hey, uh, let me back up a little bit. Tonight, all night long, and it was extremely annoying because you know the story behind it. Kay had been asking after she got a super chat that people in the room, this is incredible. It's just so, and not, it's no fake outrage here. It's just annoyance on my side that, that she's just so, um, presumptuous like this, but she said to pay back Cheryl and Cadel for the leaked book. And I'm like going, you leaked the book. It doesn't matter if this person told two friends and then this person and then this person, you were the first person to had it. It starts with you. You were the captain of that ship. Not If not for you, that wouldn't have happened, period. And you were asking for your side chat to pay for your mistake and you were asking for it in a way and what, what she did guys was she wasn't just saying there's 400 people in here right now if everybody gets a dollar that's 400 dollars extra for her she was saying even if you've read the book give her five ten twenty dollars so basically twenty dollars would be more than the book even cost if you bought it at walmart even if you've read the book and it was like the presumptuousness if that's even a word of how she said it she just had no no self-awareness or she wasn't going to portray it she was angry she had a chip on her shoulder that this had been blamed on her 
all the while now, completely a different story, but I'm just saying that it was ironic, very ironic, and it didn't, it wasn't lost on me, nor was it lost on a lot of other people, that she had just been saying that Christopher Watts, you know, was talking about the pictures in his cell, and he couldn't believe that people had the audacity to not want him to have pictures of his family. Meanwhile, different story, I know, she was saying that if you've read the book, let's all give her some money. You leak the book. So one day, one day, guys, one day is today, she's going to give all the proceeds. Why don't you give all of the proceeds for your Patreon for the next few months for that, if you feel so bad for it? Because it doesn't matter if other people have passed around. You had the relationship with Cheryl and Cadle. You had the relationship. And I saw how catty you sounded. You had no regard. Now, listen, I think what... Cheryl and Cato did to the Watts family, leading them on and using them. This is, you know, I'm not a bigger in karma, but I'm just going to say it like people always say it. That's karma. That's karma for what she did to that family in those letters, in the texts, which I'm going to be reading coming up in another couple of days. She was, um, Cheryl and Cato was saying that, you know, should I bring him a, a birthday cake and I'm going to bring him a journal? And what do you think? I'm going to use the proceeds on this to get him a better lawyer for his case to maybe handle an appeal or anything like that. And it was lie. It was straight up lie. It wasn't she changed her mind. She was making sure because she knew how close that Chris was to his family. She didn't want to rock the boat. And it's the minute that she got what she wanted, she got all of those letters from him she got him to sign away his rights they were dumped they couldn't even get a free copy of the book they had to be blindsided she wouldn't even do that but here's the kicker she gave a copy of the pdf of the book to critical k who got it leaked for her which cost her to lose thousands of dollars now if that's not karma i don't know what is because the just the oh my goodness the <laughs> and I'm trying to like hold myself back because it's only an online thing, but it just happened. And I had just, I've just seen her when more people come in the room, ask for more money. And then just now, Cheryl and Cato was getting mad at the side chat for calling this whole thing out, calling the truth out of what's happening. And she was saying that it's not her fault. It's the other people that it's caused me to lose thousands of dollars. And it's the other people who have caused this to go viral, which is why I've done this. No, it's your girl's fault. And did you hear how she sounded towards it? And then, then here's the kicker again. Again, the Watts get blamed. The Watts get blamed. And saying that they're, they want them to fight. They want this to happen. The truth is this. You leaked the book. Then people who had no dog in the fight, they didn't have the relationship that you had nurtured with Cheryl and Cato over all these weeks or months or whatever to make sure that you had the exclusive on your channel. They didn't have that. You can't be trusted. You can't be trusted. She gave this to you on a platter and it's a pretty big deal. So not only have now you flipped your story because the, the Watts didn't come along and, you know, give in, it seems, to whatever you wanted, that that causes you to change your story and change your mind and everything. It, it seems to me, in my opinion, Miss Critical K, you are an opportunist. In my opinion, and I, you know, maybe this is going to get me hate. Maybe, you know, I'm a person with an opinion. So if you don't like an opinion... Um, and this is nothing personal about your looks or what your life is. I don't want to get into your personal life. I don't want to get into anything. This is about your actions online, which I think that, like your name says, critical K, you can be, you can critically think things through. You said you're agnostic because, you know, you like to be wrong sometimes before you're right and critically think things through. Critically think this through yourself. Who was the cause of her losing thousands of dollars? It should, if you feel so bad for it, don't e-beg for money from your side chat to pay that off. And then you didn't even ask for a dollar from each person, which still would have been bad enough. You asked for five, 10, 15, 20. And thankfully, she's not getting that much. Anyways, 
that's my little rant that I'm going to go on to about that. Let me know if you guys have seen this um, and what what you think of this. Um, now I hear this is going to be another video because I've learned a lot to say on this, that the author, Cheryl and Cato, and I want to come back and read some of these letters in there that I can read because I will make sure that I break it up so it can be used and um, not get struck. But now I heard that Cheryl and Cadle, ever the money grubbing person again, wants to now reissue issue the book out again with the quote unquote missing chapter on Nicole Kessinger, the one that's going to get into all the salacious details about how she's into the dark side or what have you or blah, 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 blah. When has that ever been done? I can see a book be re get revised after a few years and the story has changed more and the story has died down. This is a brand new book. You better be putting out that information for free in a PDF people can download or something like that because you've got a lot of people with this piece of crap, in my opinion, book with no pictures, no pictures of the letters, misspellings left and right and and everything in here we've known about and half of the things in here in my opinion are just stolen from the discovery documents that were released last November but now you want to either uh, is it you're going to make us pay to get those I, I hope you're going to make those put that out there for free because you can't tell me that you just forgot and you held things back is it all a money grub and all in the while again you're blaming the watts you're blaming the Watts again, and you think nothing of it. And I, I, bitch, I bet you, I guarantee you, you both think that you're totally right. But we'll see if how much you get on that super chat because I don't think many people think that you're right. With that, I will talk to you guys later. Let me know, please let me know below what you guys think about this story and if you happen to see this and what you think about that and uh, what you think of my new... I guess I just up the banner is up there. Isn't that cute with like little retro logo? So talk to you later. Bye-bye.